Hi there, and welcome to our tutorial video on setting up users in ESC. Some of you may be tempted to not create users in ESC and just give everyone access to the admin user account. As easy as that is, you could open the door to all sorts of bad things happening. You could end up with altered, bad, or missing data on top of other people seeing information they should not. Let me show you how easy it is to create a user and set them up with some permissions. First, go to Company and then Set Up Users. Once there, you will choose Add New. If you are using Windows Authentication, you will get a screen asking for the Windows username. If you are on a work group, you will want to skip this step just by clicking Next. If you are on a domain, however, you can use this screen to help determine which users can even have access to the database. Just make sure the domain name is correct in the second field and click on Find User. You will get a list of your users from Active Directory. Choose the one you are creating a user for in ESC. It should show up in the Windows username slot. Now click on Next and we will create the ESC username and password. On this screen, you will be able to create your ESC username and passwords. Type in the user's name in the first field. There are two fields for the password to make sure it is entered properly. The password fields have a 10 character limit and you can make them as simple or as complex as you'd like. Of course, it is always recommended to make it a mix of letters, numbers, and symbols so that it is difficult to guess. You'll notice that all letters for the username and password are automatically capitalized. The Associate to Tech field is for use with our mobile components, and I will discuss what to do with that later. For now, click on Next. The last screen is where you can choose the permissions the user will be able to use. A normal rule of thumb I have learned is that you give a user the minimum permissions that you believe they should need. If they do require more, they can come to you and request it, and at that time it can be reevaluated. Now you will see all of the options in bold with plus symbols next to them. Also, if you have mobile as one of your options, sit tight and I will get into some more detail about that. You can expand the bolded sections and you will get more options. You can expand those out some more and get very specific with what the user can see and not see. You can limit what screens, options, or reports they can access to help protect your business and data. For example, a dispatcher might not need access to sales reports, so you would leave that whole section unchecked. Go through and pick what will be best for your user and their role in the business. Now you have the mobile options. First off, if you will be using any of the mobile options, make sure you associate a tech to the user. This will determine which technician's dispatches the user will see. Depending on which mobile solution or solutions you have with us, you will have to pick the correct one or you will get a licensing error. If the user will be using Front Office, you will expand Mobile, then expand Front Office and choose Login as a Web Front Office user. For Mobile Laptop, you will do the same except expanding out Mobile Laptop and checking Login as a Mobile user. When it comes to dealing with the ESC Mobile app, there are some more things to take into consideration. With the mobile app, you will choose Login as a web mobile user. But with this option, you also have the mobile management feature. If this user needs the capability to see other technicians' dispatches and or to reschedule them, you will check Enable Mobile Management. Another thing to take into consideration is if you want the user to see attached documents. You will need to enable that permission for them. You can do this by going to the Customer Information section, expanding it, then expanding the Utilities portion underneath it. Then you will check the box for Attach Documents. That is all it takes for a mobile tech. Now you know how to create individual users for each of your employees, including your mobile technicians. This concludes our tutorial on User Setup in ESC.